when you close your eyes. You get to see the breath a lot more clearly. You're not distracted by things outside. And you can become to appreciate what the breath does for the body. As we start out, we think of the breath simply as what keeps us alive. But the way you breathe is going to have an impact on the quality of the health of the body and the health of the mind. So you want to be able to give it your full attention. This is a quality the Buddha calls citta, intentness. It's one of the bases for success in the meditation, that you don't just go through the motions, that you really try to see what's going on inside your own mind. Because after all, the mind has this tendency to lie to itself. It says, do this and you'll be happy. Well, you do it and you're not happy. But then you do it again and you do it again. What's going on inside? You want to be able to see that. It's like learning there's corruption in a company. You have to figure out where is the corruption. Is it on the higher levels, on the lower levels? Which means you have to get to know the entire company, all the different communications that are going on. So you can trace out exactly where the corruption is coming from. Because fortunately the mind is not totally corrupt. It's got its good side as well. The side that surely wants to find a happiness and doesn't harm anybody. A happiness that's true. So those are the police that are searching out where are the corrupt elements. It's an internal police. No one else can come in and do the work for you. So it's an internal job. You're using the breath here as a way of strengthening the good side of the mind. To make it easier for the good side of the mind to point out at times when what you're going to have to do to find true happiness is going to require a fair amount of effort and the results are going to take a while. So that the part of the mind that wants instant gratification has some satisfaction as you breathe in, breathe out in a way that feels really good. So this is part of your arsenal. This is one of your weapons. Learning how to be in touch with the way the breathing energies feel in the body. Because it's not just air coming in and out of the lungs. There's a movement of energy throughout the nervous system as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And the more fully aware you are of that, the more benefit you can get from it. So as you close your eyes, open your inner eyes and watch what's going on inside to see clearly what's happening. And the, the good side of the mind can overcome the, the side of the mind that's basically lazy, wants an easy, easy pleasure, a fast pleasure. And the side that realizes that a lasting pleasure is something that's going to take effort. May not be easy, but it's going to be well worth the effort when you found it. And fortunately, we don't have to wait until the end of the path to get all the benefits. There are benefits along the way. So pay full attention inside, because that's where the problem is and that's where the solution to the problem can be found as well.